terms of drivers of the outdoor marketplace, um, I think it's going to be the economics, if you like, the economics combined with technology that will increase productivity of um, businesses all over the world in a very short period of time. As we increase productivity, we need less time for actual physically working, and that will free up more time for leisure. Um, there was a comment from a trade union leader in London a couple of weeks ago saying that they would expect in the next 50 years that we would only actually be having to work four days a week on average. I think that's going to be five to ten years. Um, and that will free up more time. And the more, more time we've got, the more leisure time we've got, whether or not that's in front of some of the incredibly advanced games that are coming out with virtual reality, or whether it's actually outdoor, hiking, skiing, mountain climbing, whatever. But for sure, we will have more time available to do outdoor. Fundamentally, uh, the role will be driving productivity. Um, so uh, artificial intelligence taking over some of the more mundane jobs like clerks' jobs, uh, bookkeeping, data entry, junior, junior lawyers' jobs, junior accountants' jobs, much of that is actually going to be driven by artificial intelligence. Um, what that will do is it will increase productivity accordingly um, and that again drives the leisure market because we actually just create more time as a direct result. I've just spoken for 50 minutes about a whole range of everything from artificial intelligence to the Internet of Things to blockchain. Uh, to me, the most exciting thing is probably in your sector is graphene. Um, any, any new material science, graphene has got 10 times the strength of stainless steel. Uh, it's super conductive. Um, and we saw there's a really interesting startup come out of London very recently that's built an outdoor coat with an internal graphene li lining. Now, Graphene's very hard to work with. It's a two-dimensional substance. Substance is actually one atom thin, um, but it's incredible substance. And what I understand he's managed to do is actually turn this into a production item so he can actually scale his business. Um, and some of the reviews I've read are fantastic. So I think material science, brackets, graphene, uh, I think very exciting. Um, I think the, the advent of um, watch technology coming in from Apple, um, so we become if you like, nodes, intelligence nodes on the Apple network. That will allow us to talk to other people that are outdoors, uh, allow us to communicate on a mesh network with them. And some of the stuff they're doing, the iWatch 4 recently coming out, um, has got the facility that if you collapse, it figures that you've collapsed using accelerometers and uh, gyroscopes. And then what it does is it rings the emergency services. So we're actually going to be con continually connected into networks that have got intelligence in the node. And this has got fairly, a fairly large amount of processing power and some neural network uh, capability in there as well.